All right, guys, today we're gonna make some coffee rub. First, you'll need some garlic powder, some paprika, some onion powder, some cumin, some salt, some cayenne red pepper, some light brown sugar, and your choice of coffee. All right, guys, so to start with, you probably wanna get you a good container, label it so you remember what is going to be in it. And uh, as you've seen, we went and got all of our ingredients. I'm going to use a different kind of coffee than what most would use. Um, I'll have Dylan put a photo up of where we got this from. But we're just going to start by putting it all together. Let's go. As you can tell, I've got every measuring device that I've got in the house out we're gonna do two tablespoons garlic powder. And you probably have to just peel this right here off and get down to the whole thing. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. And then we're gonna to move to two tablespoons of ground coffee. You really wanna get a, a medium grind. You don't want it to be finely ground. You don't want it to be too coarse, uh, but something in between would be great. There we go, boom. So just try to get something that is in a medium grind. If you have to, if you've got the tools, by all means, grind it yourself. I do not have the tools to do so, but you want two tablespoons. You can always put in more, but I don't recommend putting in less. Next, we're gonna do two tablespoons of paprika. I went through my cabinets, got all my paprika out. I have some that is smoked. I'm gonna add that in there. If you don't know where to buy smoked paprika, never fear, you don't have to buy it. As you can see, all you have to do is put it in a, uh, a bowl or something of that nature, put it in the smoker, let it smoke with hickory wood. Two tablespoons. Always make sure to put your snap caps back on because when you go to use this next, if that's not on and you don't realize it, you're gonna have a great day. Next, we're gonna do onion powder or onion flakes. I've got minced onion. I've got a big old thing of onion powder. I'll just do one of each. Two tablespoons, again. You could do just onion powder if that's what you've got. You don't have to have flakes. Next, we're gonna do ground cumin. Keeping up with the original. Do two tablespoons of it as well. Next, we're gonna grab some salt. Now, if you don't have uh, kosher salt, of course, the big chunks, you can just do regular iodized salt. We don't want a whole lot of salt. So one tablespoon. Next, we're gonna go for that light brown sugar. My this name. is the part that I dislike the most. Just one tablespoon. Next, we're gonna do one teaspoon of black pepper. You can either grind it or you can just use regular black pepper. However, whichever way you like best. I'm not gonna measure it out, but do approximately one teaspoon. The last ingredient, cayenne pepper. Now this one is optional. You don't have to put it in at all. But I wouldn't do more than two tablespoons maximum. I'm only gonna put in one tablespoon. And there we go, that's your basic coffee rub. Now, if you want more, um, you've seen the size bottle I use, just double, triple, quadruple the recipe, whatever you want to do. If you just want to try it out, this is the perfect way to try it out. There's not much there. This will do a couple of uh, briskets, pork shoulders, you know, whatever you want to put it on. Shake it up real good when you're done. You should get a hint of coffee. You'll get cumin for sure. Taste it if you want to. It's gonna be a good rub. 
All right, guys, this has been Andy and Dylan with Not Just Cooking. Y'all have a good day.